Hi and welcome to Industry Update, your source for the latest news in the ad specialty industry. I'm Dave Agnoni. In this week's headlines, top 40 supplier Broder Brothers has reported a strong set of second quarter financials. Sales of the company were up 7.3 percent and gross profits rose 26 percent of $48 million. In its recent SEC filing, the supplier also announced its intention to eventually become a publicly owned company with a common stock listing on a national exchange. In other financial news, Top 40 distributor Inner Workings posted record sales gains in its second quarter, with revenues increasing 29% to $155.6 million. Profits rose by $7 million, while net income jumped 18%, reaching nearly $4 million. Inner Workings expects its overall 2011 revenue, which includes ad specialties, to eclipse $600 million. Also this week, some encouraging news for Top 40 supplier American Apparel. Following several rocky quarters of sales declines, the Los Angeles-based company reported flat earnings in the period ended June 30th. Company officials say American Apparel sales are trending upward as the year continues. In one important measure, same-store sales were up 3% in June and 4% in July. We continue now with a voluntary recall of 30,000 Build-A-Bear workshop lapel pins. According to U.S. and Canadian regulators, the paint used on the pins contains excessive levels of lead that are potentially dangerous to children. The one and a half inch pins feature graphics of a heart, bear head, and peace sign. All the pins were made in China and sold from July of 2009 to October of last year. And finally today, news of two acquisitions. Wisconsin-based distributor National Premium has purchased Kansas-based Cam Inc. for an undisclosed price. Also, Deluxe Corporation, which owns distributor Safeguard Business Systems, has acquired online services firm PS Print for $45 million. Remember, for the latest industry news and videos, check out Counselor Promogram and keep track of trends, happenings, and research on our ASS Central Facebook page and through Twitter. We hope you'll join us again next week. Until then, for Industry Update, I'm Dave Agnoni. Have a great day.